Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video we will have a look at the Primary Arms SLX 2.5 Prism Scope. The item is delivered in a really nice box. Uh, we see the information on the box and uh, we have the reticle here, the ACSS. Uh, I would say currently the best or one of the best reticles that you can have with the red dot or with a, with a scope. Uh, it gives you so much uh, advantage uh, above, above uh, the regular scopes uh, that is amazing about the, the bullet drop, about the moving targets, about the, the basically the kill zone uh, that it would uh, still reach if you uh, are not completely in the middle uh, with the target and all that. Really, really nice. Then we have here some more information. So really nice uh, box as we open it up. The item comes really nicely uh, padded up. Uh, we have uh, uh, there uh, also a uh, lens cleaning part. Uh, wipe and uh, the anti-moisture. We have uh, some tools and of course the manual. So uh, we're gonna have a look at the manual quick. Uh, that is online too. I'm not gonna go over all the, the points but uh, it gives you uh, easy to understand uh, knowledge how to use that unique uh, scope. So the ACSS is really unique. Uh, in this case it's in red. Uh, the item, the, the part is etched on the glass as well, like a regular scope. So even if the scope, the, the battery power on the scope is out, uh, you still have a possibility to aim. This is uh, the specialty of that scope here. We also have uh, the bullet drop compensator not only for 5.56 but for other uh, calibers as well. Uh, for me, to my surprise, it was in a 9mm as well. So really nice. Uh, leading your target for moving targets. How to range your target about the, the size. There's some more about the mounting and the installation. We have a typical uh, base. Uh, you can change that uh, to a quick release base uh, as well if needed. Then we have more information about the prism system. So this is a fixed scope to on a 2.5 with that prism. Uh, prism feature uh, gonna help you in case you have uh, older eyes that you see the red illumination a bit uh, more fuzzy than, than uh, younger people. There we have uh, some information about uh, the elements, the different elements of the reticle. Of course it takes a bit getting used to it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to mount it uh, on a 22 trainer, get uh, used to it and then I'm going to mount it on the R15 in a 5.56. The, the 22 trainer is uh, on the R15 system as well. So the item came already with a kill flash or a, a anti-reflection device. Uh, this is about usually around 20-25 uh, dollars. If you have a link from Mr. Guns and Gears uh, Instagram or uh, uh, Facebook or whatever uh, where he is, uh, I use mainly the Telegram because that uh, did not get yet censored that much. Uh, you can click on that and then you get a free, uh, free uh, anti-reflection device with it. 
the item usually would not come with that but of course you have the the option uh, on the drop down uh, menu on the website to get it uh, for a cheaper price if you order it uh, additionally so to the item I did already mount the two two uh, flip up lens covers I also did already mount the kill flash we see there the honeycomb uh, design so it's a uh, really well made out of aluminium uh, part that simply screws into the front of the scope uh, we also have a rubber o-ring seal like much like a flashlight uh, to uh, cover that up and uh, to the to the base we can remove the base there with the allen wrenches uh, we have a nice sturdy uh, base with two two uh, screws here then as usual we have as we look from the back side we have the main part here with the zero it is off and you can either go directly to 11 to uh, the full power or you can go to one on top is the battery standard battery nothing special um, if we go to five uh, hopefully the camera yes the camera gonna see it so uh, that's how the radical looks there and of course we can uh, go back to one that is quite likely hardly visible and if we go to 11 we have it completely bright illuminated there uh, let's go to eight so we have a bit something in between there we see it again too really nice and then of course we need to go to zero to uh, turn it off then we have the usual towers uh, one on top for adjustment up and down uh, the one on the side left and right as we unscrew it uh, it's nice made in aluminium uh, the part has a o-ring seal here uh, it's also marked uh, which side you need to turn and uh, there is nothing on the top that is smooth not like by the red dot uh, version where you can use that to uh, turn around so you can either uh, use a a screwdriver or you can even uh, use the, the part here if you want I would not do that because it's aluminium and threaded a uh, screwdriver would be better but uh, once you set that side that in uh, it will be pretty pretty good and uh, watertight and all that on top we have a slot uh, quite likely for another rail if you want to have a, a red dot a small pistol size red dot mounted I did not see exactly for what it is there, but I guess it's for a rail, additional rail if you want to have uh, that, uh, possibly even a bit angled that you could uh, sideways uh, look through it. So uh, what you do with it is uh, basically side it in on 50 yards uh, as the, as the uh, manual suggests and then uh, you are pretty much set for the automatic uh, bullet drop and all the other information that you can read through the radical uh, what is uh, important for me what made me uh, buy this item is uh, that you can use it without batteries uh, that the item gonna work without battery as you simply uh, see see the radical inside quite likely uh, because of the kill flash and of course we need to uh, open that too there we may yes there we actually see it uh, good point good catch uh, that is without the battery on so you see it like with a with a scope and then uh, let's go back to uh, five and there you see it with five on my hand so that is really really nice uh, in some videos it's named the scope for the apocalypse and all that 
uh, basically all the the different uh, prism optics uh, have the thing the 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 thing uh, etched in uh, so that you don't need to use any battery worst case of course with the battery you can use it like a red dot so it's way easier way easier and faster to use uh, this one here is only in red uh, I had in the back uh, back then uh, some some uh, items some prisms with uh, a change to green uh, so it was not only red but also green but uh, like with red dots uh, here in the jungle the green is not too too well so I stick with red it uh, stands out uh, better for a uh, tactical application so all in all the, the quality looks really nice uh, the feedback online is good too uh, price wise they were on sale uh, towards uh, Christmas New Year uh, 2022 and uh, uh, the Palmetto, the, the uh, Primary Arms uh, website has uh, some of the items uh, often on sale. So if you uh, look a bit at the website, uh, you should uh, find your deal. No problem about that either. Uh, shipping was fast too. Uh, this time actually with the, with the kill flash by the red dot somehow uh, that did not get uh, shipped with it. Uh, but uh, that came uh, relatively fast later on. Uh, of course, this one is a bit more heavy and a bit bulkier than a regular red dot. Uh, it has it, uh, its uh, advantages and disadvantages. Uh, for me, it's a, a good uh, compromise uh, and uh, a different uh, solution between only a, a red dot and a, a scope. Uh, maybe a 1 to 4 or 1 to 6 uh, scope. Uh, so it has its place and somehow I always liked the, the different uh, prism scopes that I had and I'm looking forward to uh, test that out on the 22 trainer as soon as the weather gets a bit better up here. So that much about the primary arms SLX prism scope.